Hello there, everybody. I'm not Slayer 49, and this is Smooth. Last time, we got called out for being a two timing little shit. Now let's draw a fortune from the shrine. I think I'll go draw a fortune from the local shrine, I say to myself. Chances are I'll run into Akira there, but I'll just tell her I'm not free today. Bitch, this is America! I'm always free! Oh, see, can you see? I already have one of her shrine charms, so maybe I'll have some good luck. So, I'm just gonna draw a fortune. Is Akino around? Does she have a prank plan for me? I feel worried as I approach the fortune box. After making my offer ending, I reach in. Drawing my fortune, it says, Your harem will be complete very soon. What the, what, har what harem? Harem? Who would write a fortune like this? This is just way too specific for me to wrap my head around. I wonder if this is like, kind of is pranked by that cheeky fu by that st star chick. She did say that she was the one who wrote all these fortunes. Hmm, what's that? I hear someone else walking on the shrine stone path. Kauji! Itsumi stands there, a shrine fortune in her hands. Oh, Itsumi. You know about this shrine, Kauji? Yeah, I've been visiting pretty frequently lately. The priest here injured his leg, and I've been helping it out while it heals. I see. That is something you would do, Kauji. You help out the priest. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of strange that you'd have to help a priest. I mean, usually clerics are the healing class. You know, it's like having a healer for your healer, though. That's the thing. It's just so weird. She pockets the charm she was holding before I can see what it was. I haven't been able to visit here lately since work's been so busy. But I think it's a good thing I decided to take a break today. After all, I wouldn't have gotten a chance to see you, Kauji. Although she says that in her usually disinterested tone, I can plainly see how happy she is. Would you like to do something together today, Kauji? Sure, I've already drawn my fortune. Great, we can spend the whole day together if you like. Wink, wink, wink. I would love that. She quietly walks up to me until she's within only within only a couple of inches. Hesitantly, she grabs onto my anus. You don't mind, do you? I mean hand. You don't mind. <laughs> After all, I need to do better. Not at all. There's something bothering her, even if her expression doesn't change at all. Sometimes I can just tell. Come on, if you have something to say, just say it. I'm not the only one who can easily be read, easily be ready to me available. Kauji! How long have you known Santo? I, I met her the same day I saw you in the shopping district. She was looking for her wand. Her wand, you say? She looks very disturbed by this. Yeah, it's this huge candy cane she uses for Christmas magic. Do you know how ridiculous you would sound to a normal person right now? I'm very aware. Very aware. But does it bother you? Eh? Does it bother you that another girl took interest in me? And you say that I'm the blunt one. Yeah. I don't know how to feel about it, to be honest. It's not something I could really be prepared for. But there isn't a single shred of malice in my body, I'm pretty sure. Her love for you is puree. So as someone who knows what that feels like, I can't be angry at her. But I'm not giving you up, Kauji. I'm never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and hurt you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say good boy. Never gonna tell a lie. And I said hurt you already. I meant to say does God damn it, I messed it up. I messed it up though. I just messed it up. I see. So Kauji, shall we go? Sure, we can do that. I feel like I owe it to her. She's been working pretty much all week, but now we have some time together outside of work. That's good, isn't it? I hear a rustling in the bushes to my right. A wild Zubat appeared. <laughs> Go, Pikachu! Pikachu uses Thundershock. Pikachu, Thundershock, super effective. What was that? An animal of some kind? Oh. I should have known. It, it's John Cena. Nothing. Don't worry about it. If you say so, that cheeky fo <laughs> fox is up to something. Can I stop saying cheeky fox? I can feel it in my bones. Hopefully, I'll be able to keep Itsumi safe. We eventually make it to the shopping district. Itsumi has noticed my nervousness. 
Koji, why have you been looking over your shoulder the whole time? Is the Mafia after you, Koji? Did they send a hitman? Are you gonna die? I just have a bad feeling. A bad feeling? About what? About a certain fox turning up. Is it another woman? Well, I won't deny that it's another female. Don't say female. Don't say female. That... No, that's not... No. What have you been up to, Koji? Huh? Huh? Hey, I got a problem, am I? I, I, I swear to God, I, I just default to Santo voice for some reason. Not a problem, am I? Oh, here comes Star Fox. God damn it, someone's in my stream again. Who is it? Who is it? What? No, but it says there. Who is it? Okay. Whatever. So, this is been hiding from me, Koji. How could you? You're practically married and you're off seeing other women. Koji, who is this? It's a long story. How could you be so cold towards your waifu, Koji? The fox immediately slips underneath my arm. That's better. I can't tell what Itsumi is thinking. What's the matter? Are you not pleased with having your lover stolen away? Just like some sort of golden thing, a burglar comes in, burglar comes in, steals your thing, comes out, he's all like, Aha! I got your thing! I done stole it! Plasma screen HD TV 1080p 60 frames a second MLG. I'm sorry, but I'm just that charming! Ha 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 ha! Itsumi seems to be ignoring her. Instead, she's reaching towards something. Eats me, what are you doing? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Why? With no regard for a career address, Eats me firmly grabs her tail. I immediately notice Akina's reaction. For a moment, Akina just goes into a visible state of shock. Followed by her face turning bright red. She collapses onto the ground, all the strength leaving her body. <laughs> Oh! Kaoji, why is this girl cosplaying like this? Does she just run around furring fox ears and a tail? She can see Akina's tail and ears. But you shouldn't be able to... Itsumi tugs on the tail and presses against it with her fingers. She strokes Akina's delicate tail fur. This is a high quality outfit. Where'd you buy this? But that's my actual tail! Let go, let me go! Let it go! Let it go! Don't hold it back anymore! Oh, I can see against the background. It says I'm live, but I have zero people. What the hell? Did I push a button or something? Uh, okay. Can I can I turn that off? Um, stop. All right. Your actual tail. That can't be right. There's no way that can be right! Can it? I- wait. That's supposed to be Nappa, but it came out strong bad. I don't know. People don't have tails, you know. Is- isn't that a really obvious statement? Then again, this is the all this is only convincing her to continue assaulting Akira. Ugh. Itsumi begins to run her other down Akina's tail all the way to its base. Hmm. So that's actually glued on to something. That's dedication. You truly are living your character. Akina's face is so red right now. She writhes from every touch. Eat, eat to me. What is it, Kaoji? Could you please let go of her tail? Why? It's just a cosplay, isn't it? I'm a full experiment! <laughs> she lets out another gasp as Eat finger brushes against the tip of her tail. Stop, please! Stop! I can't take it! What a convincing cosplay this is. You've really put a lot of work into your outfit. Where'd you buy these costume pots? They're really high quality. That's when Itsumi reaches out towards Akina's ears. Akina immediately reacts to that too. She struggles to get out of Itsumi's grip, but she can't get away. What's with that look on your face? Do you have a fetish for people touching your cosplay outfits? Akina doesn't respond though. She just lies face first in the ground. I think she fainted. Fainted? Hell! Because she wasn't lying about that being her tail. Oh, she, she wasn't? 
I find that hard to believe, Kalji, even though I literally talked to goddamn Santa Claus yesterday. Like, this is the most outlandish thing I've ever seen. Like, seriously, though. Come on. Eats me. Finally, let's go over tail. Who is this girl anyway, Kalji? You haven't told me anything about her. Never mind that. I'm gonna get back to the shrine. I'm gonna get her back to the shrine. I pick a key up and carry her on my back. I'll explain when we get there, okay? Okay. We waited until Akira Toriyama woke up again. And that's how I ended up spending time with her. Yeah, but why did she faint when I grabbed a tail? For fox tail, Fox tails are sensitive! It's like touching a girl's! What was I gonna say? Uh. Uh. I don't know, clavicle? Screw it. Ah! Oh. oh! It was then that Itsumi realized that she was accidentally a lesbian. A fox lesbian. Or fesbian for short. Sorry, I just. I didn't even know though! It's too late now! I'm gonna sue ya! Sexual assault, here we go! I've lost my purdy! Akina looks pretty upset about it. I wanted Koji to be the one to touch my tail. But you just said having someone touch your tail. Yeah, but I don't mind if it's Koji, Kondo. I see. Koji, can't explain yourself, you little shit. Well, this is where I first went when I was wishing for a friendo. Eh. A, a tomodacho. Akina granted my wish, so I was happy about that. But haven't I also granted you wish? You have! So it's me. What is your relationship with Koji? I'm his childhood friend. But judging by the way you two acted, it was something more than that. Mm. You shouldn't say such thing aloud, Akira. Why not? I'm pretty sure that Koji kinda knows too. Yeah, I... I know. So you shouldn't worry about it. Question is, though, what do you plan to do at this point? Mm, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What... You, what are you gonna do? I want to date him, but... Well, it's not like we can't both date him, is it? So it's okay in the North Pole, but not the spirit world? Is I mean, something's up here. After all, we both like spending time with him. I'm beginning to under- I'm beginning to understand where that shrine fortune was coming from now. Akira Toriyama must have known that I was been spending time with other girls this week. That fox is always manipulating things in the background. <laughs> Freaking. <laughs> also, you're holding a shrine charm from a romantic- How did you- how'd you know? I made that charm myself out of a dead baby. It's a very potent one. After all, tending to the shrine in service of her for first is my job. Itsumi just looks at me embarrassed. I it's nothing, Koji. She's lying to you. You really do want to get closer to me, don't you? Yeah. I want to be closer to you, Koji. I wanted to tell you how much I love you. So I thought that a shrine charm might help me do that. Santa also likes you that way, though. So I need all the luck I can get. Meanwhile, Akira's here, just she's all like. Anyway. So what exactly does a fox spirit do, aside from their shrine-related duties? <laughs> you said duty! Do shameless things with Koji! Wow. We played the shrine charm game earlier this week. Shrine charm game? That fox leans over and whispers into Itsumi's ears. Koji, if you wanted to feel someone's chest, I would let you feel mine, though. Jesus, I mean, really, like... Every single time, under normal circumstances, like, normal anime convention dictates that she be all like, What? And then just, just like, t be taken aback. But, but Itsumi's all like, 
Oh, Koji! If you wanted to sacrifice, if you wanted to sacrifice a virgin gold to our Lord Satan, you should have told me. You don't need to go to this fox. She only wants to tease you. Oh, she's right, you know. I'm well aware that she wants to tease me. Then why do you let she lure you around like that? Because he's obviously that charmed by me. If you want to get him, you're gonna have to try much harder eats me. <laughs> After all, I am strong competition. Everyone knows that Fox is a top tier character. What if I just rub your tail until you faint again? Everyone knows that Lucina is a counterpick to Mar <laughs> Fox. I said Martha on accident. F uh. Don't do that! My tail is for Koji only! Or cogently! I don't freaking. You really are shameless, Fox. Koji tells me that all the time. Bounch, 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 chip, bounch. You're pretty shameless too, Eats Mammon. Hey, you're the king of perverts, aren't you? Shouldn't you be happy for all girls being shameless around you? Jesus, Eats Me, can you. Well, that's true, but... He only likes it when it's me being shameless. <laughs> and so the two of them continue to argue with each other. Itsumi could see Akina's fox bits. Isn't she always aware of what she... what? It, she isn't aware of what she did to Akina either. I actually feel sorry for that poor fox. She said that you let the person you cared about most touch your tail. But Itsumi just grabbed it and left her writhing on the ground pitifully like that. The equivalent of fox rape. Oh well, Itsumi didn't mean any harm. I still don't feel like I, I don't think I've fully convinced her that it isn't cosplay yet. Will I be able to? Probably not. That's a speech check of like a hundred. That's really high. You know, I want to put all my points into guns, you know. I just want to get some time to myself after all. Some time to relax. Some time to think. Where should I go to get that? So many options. Next time we explore our plentiful options. Good night and have a happy new year. It's going to be past new year when I upload this. God damn it.